In 2004, I was diagnosed with bladder cancer. I turned 40 and I thought, wow, I thought my life was going to just change. And it did. I took uh, four years of treatment. And when I turned 44, I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. This uh, lean body used to be 220 pounds. Um, cancer's a bad thing. But because of you, we're gonna end it. So let's rock this house. Let's, let's start this pedal party and make it the best ever for 2016. What do you say? We're all here today united because we have been adversely affected by cancer. And what makes this event so wonderful is that Cycle for Survival is the perfect avenue to channel our frustration to find a cure for this terrible disease that has all affected us. I am so honored to be here. This is a room of hope, it's a room of inspiration, and I'm so pumped to ride with you guys today. I actually had surgery at Memorial Sloan Kettering in September. Uh, Dr. John Healy up there basically rebuilt my left leg. So today, uh, I may have started walking about a month ago. I'm gonna try and get on a bike and go for about 10 minutes. Uh, Unfortunately, there wasn't a lot I could do uh, to help my mom. And we were talking one day and she got a little frustrated with me and she said, you know, Mike, you're right, I'm, I'm 68 years old. I've had a good ride. Uh, there's nothing you can do to save me. But if you want to do something, son, why don't you do something to help kids who have cancer? And within a week, I got a call from someone I hadn't spoken with in 23 years. And he told me about Team Perry and Perry Zimmerman. And, and in 2012, I got to ride in New York. And I rode in LA, and I rode in Dallas. And um, in September 2014, we lost my mom. She actually made it 33 months on a four month diagnosis. And I ride because no one should fight as hard as my mother and lose. And no one should have to beat cancer three times like Perry has. Childhood cancer is labeled rare, but you won't think so after seeing an entire hospital floor full of brave children battling cancer. When chemo and a transplant didn't cure Isaac, we quickly ran out of treatment options. Funding and research are so desperately needed in the area of childhood cancers, so our children can have more and better treatment options. For three years, we tried to develop treatments and trials, and it was just impossible. You go to these companies, and they didn't even know what the disease was. I had to explain to them what the disease was. And three years later, Cycle for Survival funded the first salivary gland cancer trial we ever did in Memorial Sloan Kettering. And because of that, in the last four years, we've done three different salivary gland cancer trials for a disease that people told us, you can't study that, it's too rare. People are not gonna be part of these studies. And so, you know, we've, we've, we've flourished in, in the salivary gland cancer program. We've extended it to the thyroid cancer program. And that's just me, I'm a, that's only one investigator. There are, you know, tens of hundreds of investigators at Memorial doing the exact same thing with this money. And so I'm here to just to say thank you and thank you so much.